Freedom Family, my name is Brian and I'm your news anchor for the week of October 23rd, 2023. Get fired up, Pates. This is Spear Week in honor of the Freedom Liberty game this Saturday afternoon. But wait, where's my co-host Phoebe? Oh no, she fell asleep. Phoebe, wake up! I completely forgot that I was hosting with you this week, and I fell asleep because I'm so comfortable in my pajamas. Well, now that I'm awake, let's talk about some of the important news this week. Starting today, there will be a theme for each day with today being Pajama Day, Tuesday being Soccer Moms and Barbecue Dads, Wednesday is Grouffy and Anything But Backpack Day, Thursday being Twin Day, and Friday being the Battle of the Classes with seniors wearing black, juniors wearing pink, sophomores in white, and freshmen in gold. Hallway decorating is happening all this week for all grades. See your class advisors and officers for where you're meeting. The main day for decorating is Thursday afternoon and evening, so make sure to be there. Seniors, your advisors have a special message for you. They need your help after school all this week to make the senior hallway the best one. Meetings will occur in room 136 until 320 on Monday and Tuesday, and then until 430 on Wednesday. On Thursday, they will be completing everything and need as much help as possible. There will be snacks every single day. Freedom vs. Liberty t-shirts will be sold from today, October 23rd, through Friday, October 27th. Students can purchase them during all lunches with short sleeves costing $10 and long sleeves costing $15. Blackout is a ride squad theme for the Freedom vs. Liberty game on Saturday, October 28th, and make sure to remember to wear your shirts. Are you interested in helping out with setting up for the bonfire on Wednesday? If so, please see Mr. Webb in the library to sign up or contact him at rweb at basdschools.org. Construction will occur later today at 2.30 p.m. The bonfire will take place on Wednesday, October 25th from 6 to 9 p.m. Picture retake day is Wednesday, November 1st. If you're getting your picture retaken, please bring with you the packet you have. If you missed the first picture day, now is the time to get it done. If you have any questions, please stop by room 101. Now, we're going to Carolina to interview ASL club members about a special event they have coming up for all students who want to participate. Thank you, Phoebe and Brian. The ASL course was first introduced to Freedom a few years ago. Since then, it's been very popular. Students from the class and ASL club have participated in many events for our district throughout the years. I'm here to talk with the treasurer, secretary, and member of the ASL club to talk about the signing of our national anthem at the Liberty Freedom Game. I'm here with Quincy West, Mary Teresa Fiorini, and so Quincy, can you give me an example of a sign you do in the national anthem? Of course. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light. Okay. And how do people get involved in signing the national anthem at the Freedom Liberty game? You can contact Miss Elliott or you can go to an ASL club meeting in 132 every second or fourth Wednesday of the month. Okay, great. Thank you. I'm here with Ella Baltz. And what planning goes into getting people together and learning how to sign the national anthem for the Freedom Liberty Game? So as you guys know, it is a tradition for us to get together with Liberty, obviously, and do this thing. We want to have people involved with ASL. As you can see, it's getting pretty popular. We want to have the ASL language. We want to see people get involved. We want to share it with other people. And we just basically have a few rehearsals. We get together, we practice, you know, you want to get it right. And then we just show it to everybody at the game. Okay, thank you. That was really interesting. If anyone would like to be involved, make sure to talk to Miss Elliott in room 132. And if you're interested in learning ASL, join ASL Club or take it as an elective. Back to you, Brian and Phoebe. Thanks, Kirsten and Caroline. Now we'll see what clubs are meeting this week. This is a week that DECA meets after school on Tuesday, October 24th in room 814. Freedom's Environmental Awareness Team is holding a Candy Graham fundraiser for Halloween. You can send a message and treat to a friend or staff member for just $2. Find any FEET member or Mr. Baltz to place your order. Sales will also be held outside the cafeteria during lunches this week. Freedom's literary magazine, Pen and Ink, is accepting submissions for this year's publication. Scan the QR code on the screen to submit your original writing, artwork, and or photography, or email it to jobriansheets at bsdschools.org. 
Reminder, ASO Club only meets the second and fourth Wednesday of every month. ASO Club will meet this Wednesday after school in room 132. Now we're gonna go over to Sammy and Jake for our Freedom Paid Sports update. Thanks Phoebe and Brian, and welcome back to your Freedom Paid Sports update. I'm Sammy. And I'm Jake. Our football team senior night went as well as it could have as Freedom took down the Rovers 20 to seven. Chase Walker threw for two touchdowns, one to Jelani Fedrick and one to Justin Peluso. The defense remained locked down all night, holding Easton to just one score in the win. Our field hockey team ended their season by completely dominating Becca 10 to zero. In her final game, senior Ava Avatabale scored four times right out of the gate and the Pates never looked back. At the Cross Country EPC Invitational, our boys and girls showed out, particularly Dylan Boyle and Aveline Philman, who finished fourth and third place respectively. Our boys soccer team kicked off their EPC playoff run in dominant fashion, taking down Pleasant Valley 3-0. Goals came from Michael Delury, Ryan freeman Neild, and Dominic Kraskowski. Also last week, the all EPC teams were released and a few of our guys and girls were recognized. Brady Sutton, Michael Lawser, and Anya Johns received third team honors, Lucy Cuntier received second team honors, and Corey James received first team all EPC. Congratulations to all of these athletes on a great season. It's about that time for our Patriots to begin each of their district playoff runs. Keep your eye out on the FHS Athletics and Ride Squad Twitter for schedule changes, venues, and links for tickets. We want to show out all these playoff games and support our teams during the postseason runs. This Saturday at 1 p.m. is the game of the year, Freedom vs. Liberty, 1 p.m. at BASD Stadium. Tickets and tailgate passes will be available for purchase from tomorrow the 24th to Friday the 27th in the FHS Athletic Office. If you are a Freedom student, you need to show up to the student tailgate at 11, sit in the riot squad, get as loud as you can, and black out all of BASD Stadium. That's all for your Freedom Fate Sports update. Back to you, Brian and Phoebe. Thank you, Sammy and Jake. So Brian, I know you're on the football team, so I have a question for you. What's your score prediction for the Freedom Liberty game? Hmm, I'd have to say 27 to us, of course. I like the sound of that prediction. Now we're going over to Aiden, who's interviewing new inductees and officers of NHS. The NHS, or the National Honor Society, is a prestigious organization for hardworking students. This year's group of inductees were recognized on Tuesday, October 17th. We are here to recognize the officers and new inductees of NHS and ask them a few questions. I'm here with... Aaron Steinmetz. And Maggie Marshalak. And what are your roles as NHS officers? So I am the treasurer of the NHS, and um, we basically are helping uh, the electosphere. We are managing it, and um, we are helping run it. Yeah. And I'm our secretary, and to add on to that, we've also been working with um, organizing our blood drives for the year. And what does NHS mean to you? Uh, to me, it means um, upholding the four pillars of NHS, which is character, leadership, scholarship, and service. I think it's really about finding something greater than yourself to work for with other people. That's cool, guys. Thank you. I'm here with two new NHS members who were inducted last week. Can you introduce yourselves? My name is Sofia Dubrovska. And I am Christina Curry. And what does NHS mean to you? To me, it is a recognition of our hard work through our years at high school and also a promise to keep serving the community and keep our scholarship up to keep the pillars of the NHS up. I think NHS is really good for the students and it's really good motivation for them to continue carrying on the good work that they've done for the past few years already. And what are the benefits of being a member? You're surrounded by hard workers, you're surrounded by achievers, people who really care about the people who are around them, and it's a really good community, it's nice people, it's motivating and good for the soul. Being part of NHS as a member gives you new people to conversate with, new people to be friends with, and it also gives you an insight on specific opportunities that you could take part in. And how was your induction last week? The ceremony was um, very motivational and we had a very good speaker there who talked about how proud she was of us and how much work it takes to be a part of NHS. It felt definitely like an honor to be there and the reception afterwards was pleasant, yeah. Thank you guys, congratulations. Congratulations to this year's new officers and inductees of NHS. Back to you, Phoebe and Brian. 
Thank you, Aiden, and congratulations to everyone that was inducted into National Honor Society. It's fall, and here at Freedom, we're getting into the spirit by painting some pumpkins. We're having a painting contest right now, so let's see what people's pumpkins look like. Um, so what's your idea for your pumpkin? Okay, so basically I'm painting little ghosts flying around on my pumpkin, and some of them are going to have mustaches, but they don't have faces yet. That's awesome. All right, so how is your pumpkin going? Um, it's going good. It's just like, it's taking, you know, long, and, you know, I'm trying to do it fast and all that. Cool, cool. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about your pumpkin? Um, so my pumpkin is an eyeball because uh, I have brown eyes. Um, my pumpkin's a donut because I'm hungry. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing whatever comes to mind. Picasso. <laughs> All right, Sammy, can you tell me a little bit about your pumpkin? Um, I'm making a Ninja Turtle, and I don't know which one it's going to be yet. And John, um, what's your pumpkin represent? Oh, uh, they are the four primary glyphs from the Owl House. They are very important to me. They're very simple designs to make, and the show itself has some horror theme, so I thought it would be appropriate. <clears throat> Colt! Okay, anyways, that's cool. And what are you painting, London? Um, I'm painting a nerd emoji, because it, it just really speaks to me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We're back, and these are the finished products of the pumpkin painting contest. Make sure to vote on our Instagram, at FHS Forum. Thank you. As you know, it's ADHD Awareness Month, so this month we will share two celebrities with ADHD and their impactful and inspiring careers. Ryan Gosling is a Canadian actor, singer, and film producer who is well known for his roles in films like La La Land, The Notebook, Drive, and his recent critically acclaimed role, Barbie. He began his career as a child star in the hit TV series, The Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and got his breakout role in The Notebook. He is currently about to star in another movie with Margot Robbie, whom he also worked with for Barbie. Simone Biles is an American gymnast who is already the most decorated gymnast in history, and is also considered one of the greatest. She won her first all-around world title as a 16-year-old in Antwerp a decade ago, and has now claimed a total of 27 world medals during her career. She has returned from her hiatus and is currently training for a spot at the Paris Games. Speaking of Simone Biles, have you ever watched her compete at the Olympics? I have a few times. Last time she competed, um, I made sure to watch her because I had heard super good things, and I was impressed. She's very good at what she does. That's it for your news this week. Thank you to everyone for tuning in, and have a great Spirit Week. Remember to participate in these fun themes every day, and visit our Instagram at FHS Forum to see some of the outfits that students rock this week.